careful. Oh, my finger is stuck. Oh my god, it's really stuck. Jeez. <laughs> Hi friends! Thank you for joining me here again at Lulu's Toy Review. And if you're brand new joining in, I am so glad you are here. Please feel free to subscribe or follow if you like what you see. So as you can tell, today we are here to open the brand new LOL Surprise OMG Movie Magic Spirit Queen doll. And I could not be more excited. The Witch A Baby family is my all-time favorite LOL surprise family in the series, so I was super excited to find out that they were getting a big sister. But not only is this the big sister for the Witch A Baby family, it's also the big sister for Countess, one of my other all-time favorite LOL surprise dolls. So I am super excited to see what the two looks for this doll will be. So let's get our spook on and and see what's inside. Let's take a look at the box before we get this open. As you can see here, it says that there will be 25 plus surprises and two outfits. If we flip this over, we can see the two outfits on the back and you can see the other dolls in this series. Ooh, I can already see a spooky vibe. And it looks like we have some instructions on how to unbox this. Alright guys, so I had to put this together um, off camera because it's really, really large. And I apologize, you're going to see my ring light and everything uh, because it's super shiny. So on this side, we actually have a backdrop for our doll. And you can see it's kind of uh, spooky and there's fog going on. So before we flip it around, we're supposed to open up this VHS tape. And if you're young, you may not even know what a VHS is, um, but they were uh, actual tapes that we would use to watch movies. Looks like there is a lockbox here. Oh, oh my finger's stuck. Oh my god, it's really stuck. Jeez. <laughs> oh, there we go. Let's see what we have. Oh, so it looks like we have a speaker and omg <laughs> this speaker is so cool it looks like a spider that is so awesome i wish that i had a speaker like that when i was playing music oh and it looks like there's a little spider hanging from the equipment which i don't wish i had that <laughs> ever because i'm pretty terrified of spiders so in here, these are our movie scene, and inside the box you can see Spirit Queen. She looks so cool. Put that aside. Oh my god. So we have her hat and part of the doll stand and a brook. I'll actually wait to take these out until we get the doll out. I think for now, what we were looking for are the movie scenes we have here and also our glasses, which I think are in here. Yep, <laughs> they're even cool looking. So here are our 3D glasses. So I don't know if any of you have had the chance to go to a 3D movie back in the day with these glasses, but they were super fun to use and the movies were really cool. And just look at the shape of these. These are super cool. So now we're going to flip this over and just look at this guys. It is a movie theater and we can even put our little slides. I have one here from one of the other dolls that I opened. 
So once you have all of your scenes together, and I do have one complaint, which is that the scenes don't really snap together. So once you have them together, they kind of keep falling apart. Um, however, once you do have them somewhat together, you can slide them in here and look at each movie scene. So first we have Countess hanging upside down as vampires do, and she's uh, thinking about spider webs. Then the next scene, we have Witchy Baby, and I forget the name of that other doll. I think it may be Thrilla, but as a cheerleader. And of course, DJ spinning some tunes. How cool is that, guys? And all of the tots that you can purchase in this series each have different scenes that come with them, so you can keep adding on to your movie and you can mix and match and create a movie that you want to watch. All right, guys, so here is the box that our doll is actually in, and I absolutely love it. It looks like a huge pink VHS tape. And as you can see here, there's some writing. Um, it looks like it's a sound designer. There's a sticker that says be kind and also a spooky sticker. And if we turn it here, we can see it says VHS and Spirit Queen. And this is the back. It says a warning, this video cassette will melt if left in the car or in the sun and it's a two-day rental. Well, I hope Spirit Queen will stay with us for more than two days. So let's go ahead and get this open. Wow, guys, so here is our Spirit Queen and she already looks so amazing. I just love her. And you can see, oh, if we take her out, she has an amazing background. So it looks like she's in a spooky recording studio. You can see this amazing pink chair. She has her little screen mic and it looks like she has a script and a laptop. Over here, we can also see some coffee, it looks like, which of course you need coffee when you're editing. That's always a must. And it looks like this is a little coffee station. We even have a little mirror with uh, candles on each side. This is just so cool. And then on the side over here, we have that amazing spider amplifier, which I absolutely love. I wish they made this in person because I would definitely buy one. So I have everything out of the package now and I have the doll out of the package and I am so relieved that these things are just cuffs and we can take them off because honestly, I am not a fan of them. <laughs> they look kind of crazy, especially in person. So I am so happy to know that these are removable. So let's take a quick look at our doll. So as you can see, she has a gorgeous face. I am in love with this spiderweb makeup and she has the typical OMG cat eye. She has a very pink lip with sort of a fuchsia eye color and her hair, oh my gosh guys, if you could feel how hard this is, there's so much product in this hair and she does have the bangs going uh, in a triangular point towards her face. I will say the bangs are a little bit um, wavy, I guess you could say, which doesn't look great. I'm not sure if all the dolls have this or if it's just mine. But it looks like they could have gotten these a bit smoother or straighter, in my humble opinion. You can see that she has pink, almost blood-colored hair uh, running through the back and up through the top. And then this is what the back looks like. This here, if you lift it up, you can see it's a ponytail inside. And right now she's just wearing this white outfit. So we have this white top with the collar that goes all the way up to the top of her neck. And the outfit also has stripes, which are sort of a glittery gray and white. 
And another detail which I absolutely love is her little bone hands. It's painted silver and she has silver nails. This is just a great touch. I love that. And also, I'm so glad, again, we could take off the cuffs because now we can actually see her hands. And lastly, she has on these amazing striped socks, which are reminiscent of Witchy Baby's socks, except hers are orange and black. So let's put her on her stand for now. Well, let's take a look at her accessories. I don't want to see what's in this box. So these are for her Countess look, I believe. So we have these pieces of her bodice. This one would go around her hips. Then we have this one for her chest. This one, I believe, goes up around her neck. And you can see there's a big heart here, which is kind of cool. And I love this. It's such a cool vampiress look. Here are her glasses. How cool are these guys? They look just like the 3D glasses that we got with her, but these are black and sparkly. And we also have some earrings. Let's flip them around. Oh, these are so cool. So it looks like these are moon earrings, which if you're a witch, you definitely pay attention to the moon. So these are super cool. And let's check out her shoes. These are so stunningly spooky. Guys, look at these. So we have a spider web type shoe and it's a heelless shoe. And you can see it's pink on the back and the front is black. How cool are these? Oh, I love it. The shoes are always my favorite part. But here we have their outfits and I love these bags. Look, there's a moon bag here. And also a VHS tape bag. That's really cool. All right, guys. So I have her clothes here, which are out of the bags because I thought I was filming and I wasn't. <laughs> so we're just going to take a look at them out of the bag. So first we have this pencil skirt, which is just stunning. So it has the spiderweb pattern on the front and on the sides we have this white and gray sparkly stripe, which is similar to the outfit she is wearing currently. And then this jacket, guys, I love. I would definitely purchase this if it were available in real life. It's super cool. We have these uh, spider sleeves. And these are a light material, almost like a windbreaker jacket. And then on the back, it's a sparkly black and gray material. And I love the cuffs and the wraparounds on the bottom here. And look at this collar. It's so big and so extra. I love it. And then this is the other outfit, which is super cute as well. So we have this black and white halter top, and you can see down here there's some detail with the ribbon uh, below her bust. And the skirt has those, um, I guess, ribbons, uh, which the cuffs also had, which again, I'm not a huge fan of, but if you look at the inside of the skirt, it actually has the spiderweb pattern. And this is what the back looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and get her dressed and we'll take a look at each of her looks. And guys, I have to mention, I have not purchased an OMG in quite a while, um, but it looks like they gave them more articulation in the hips. Like they sort of um, go up and down like that. And I do not remember that being the case um, with the other OMGs I have. So that's really cool. That gives them more ability to be posed. And that's just really awesome that they included that feature. I guess maybe I'm just not in the know, but <laughs> just wanted to give you that bit of information. All right, guys, so here is Spirit Queen all dressed up in her regalia and she is just stunning 
As you can notice, I did take off the frilly cuffs from her jacket. Uh, I just don't like them. Uh, they look very costumey to me, and I just think the outfit as a whole looks sleeker without them. But she is just stunning. I am so in love with her. And here is Spirit Queen in her Countess look, and she just looks like a bad you-know-what. She is so sleek. I love the pencil skirt, and if you didn't notice, I did leave her socks on, which uh, the look would probably look better without the socks, but I have such a hard time getting these clothes on and off, and the socks just get to me. They're so hard to take on and off, so I just left them for now. But she looks so beautiful. She looks like a villainous vampiress in a movie, and it's just perfect. So guys, that concludes our opening of Spirit Queen, the brand new OMG movie magic doll. And I have to say, she is my all-time favorite OMG doll. I just adore her spooky look. I love Halloween and spooky things all together. So she is just the perfect doll for me. And as you may notice, I did flip her skirt around so that it has the spider web fabric on the outside. And I like this so much better than the ribbon on the outside. I just think it looks uh, more sleek and pretty and I just love this look. This has to be my favorite look of hers compared to the skirt reversed and also compared to the countess look. But which one is your favorite? I would love to know, so definitely feel free to comment down below. Altogether, the Movie Magic series is amazing. I was so impressed by the packaging, the movie theater, the backdrops. They are just going to the max with all of the details with these dolls and I'm loving every bit of it. But again, let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please subscribe or follow if you feel inclined and have a spooky day. Bye!